Welcome to Profile Traders. This is Reza and you're listening to my market analysis for February the 27th. The very, very tight, narrow range with the extraordinary stubborn attitude of this market in regards of a pullback is continuing. And this very tight range that has been established between 2117 to 2100 is still holding and containing many, many, many sessions within that range. Therefore, the, the, the outlook has not changed at all. <clears throat> In order to break up and go towards 2150, obviously we have to clear this very recent top that we have in place at 2118. Upside objective on a daily is a touch of that resistance line somewhere near 2150. Prior to do that, if by any time we come down and close on a daily basis below this recent top that we had at 2090, meaning we come down and on a daily basis we close below 2090, to, to me a very very strong bull trap will be in place and market will be very ready for a big big reversal all that you are seeing here on a very very tight range and a complete refusal to come down it is all 1000 percent i tell you with a hundred percent certainty that this is all 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 manipulated price what is probably causing it is again corporations going and borrowing at one percent from the federal reserve taking the money bringing it and buying back their own share so that the share goes up the ceo is billionaire they get paid bonuses for good stock performance they pay some dividend with the borrowed money but all that we have all of this Every single bit of this market is only, only, only supported by printing and borrowing. That level of corporations at its record ever high, ever high. They are borrowing hands and fists at zero percent and they are doing all sorts of craziness with that money. And once that bubble will burst, God bless us all because what you saw in 2007 and 2008 will be an appetizer compared to what will happen. But thus far we must congratulate the pedophiles of the Federal Reserves because it is very clear that the low-life scums have not learned anything from the past. And all the policies, all the craziness, all the mismanagement that was involved in the last crisis is full blown back in the game this time times 10. So until we do not see weakness nor rejection back below 2090, market is still bullish, either you like it or not. And upside objective now is 2150. The moment we break and close below 2090, in my book, this is over, not before. And before we would go to 2090, we have to clear 2100, which is now a very short term support level. And I gave you from the last report 2101 as a level of support for ES, as you can see, it did hold to a very tick on Friday. I was short all day long looking for 2101. I did not get the move. It only broke to the very, very last minute. So be very careful now for a break below 2100. And then most importantly, once we break and close below 2090, this whole orgy, this whole ridiculous orgy to the upside will come to an end. As far as crude is concerned if you go back and check my tweet records i tweeted 
several days back and it's on the record no BS right I said on my tweet once oil reaches 48 47 we believe that is a very great buy against 46 looking for a 52 53 target 48 was reached to the very very thick it did hold it provided as of right now one point and a half bounce and the level we pinpointed several days before so now the scenario is still the same as long as 48 now holds we should be going further up 50 60 is my first target and then 51 and a half is my second target which are both POCs up there and I do not believe that there will be at all any sustained price below 48 I think 48 crude compared to the other asset bubbles compared to the crazy stuff that is going on in the Middle East while we sit here jerking off and watching people getting beheaded, burned, hanged, raped, killed. $48 crude is dirt, dirt, dirt cheap. For gold, as long as we are above 1200 we have to go to church and light a candle that's all I can say because we cannot ask too much from this poor metal that is so viciously destroyed on paper for the purpose of some very shrewd thieves to accumulate physical dirt cheap but as long as it remains above 1200 like I said go today to the church light a candle pray Jesus Christ for it and be very thankful that it is not lower than 1200 now as long as we remain above 1200 since we came and touched that trend line that I told you from a long long time ago that this was going to be a very strong level of support at 1200 1197 if that holds and this correction to the downside is over with obviously now we are in a leg of an up move and at the very minimum we should come up towards 1240 and then 1260 but under no circumstance we must now or I should say under no circumstance we should break below 1211.97 so consider that that is a very strong level of support as long as it holds 1225 first 1237 is a POC up there and then after that we should go for 1245-1250 is there anything wrong with gold in my book absolutely not again extraction cost is 1250 gold is at 1200 and you look at the toilet paper that I would not even wipe my dog's butt with it called price line is at 1237 meaning that you're buying a piece of paper with a stamp of price line at higher price than you would buy an ounce of gold and my experience is that every single time price line ex exceeds price of gold it's a hell of a short that toilet paper so I am still very bullish with gold continuation up against 1197 to 1200 ultimate target short term 1245 1250 if we do break below this level we must assess the nature of the break to see if it's going to be a devastating blow to the downside or another fake break like we saw a couple of times here 
every time it came below the 97 immediately a buyer jumped in and pushed it back up that's it for today you guys have a great weekend if you wish to join my trading room my trading com community you can get all my courses and one year trading room for $550 again we are not crooks we are not marketing thieves we are not dreamers we trade all my trades are called in black on white and I am very very proud to say that 80% of all my trades make money you don't believe me you can ask my members have a great weekend talk to you next week